If you want cheap, reliable MT in NBA 2K21, hit up my boys at NBA 2K King and use my code CPTHEDOC for 5% off any purchase. Yo, what's good everybody? It's CP the Doc, and on Wednesday night, I streamed Triple Threat Online for like five hours. It was a really fun stream, we won a lot of games, but I didn't see Pink Diamond Larry Nance a single time. But what do you know? I hop back on the next day, play a few games, and there he is. We have four ball drops, four chances to get him, so let's see if we can pull it off. Right here, right now. Ball drop number one goes into the light blue. That's fair, I can live with that. We still have three ball drops left. Ball drop number two goes all the way to the left. Oh God, we have two ball drops left and neither drop has made it past the middle section. Ball drop number three has some potential. Come on, go left, go left. Yes, yes, go a little bit more right. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. One ball drop left. I can throw this one anywhere. We got Pink Diamond Larry Nance. We didn't get him the entire night last night. I'm hyped up. Let's go check him out. Let's go open him up after this ball drop. Pink Diamond Larry Nance. So many of you guys joined my stream on Wednesday and said, y'all have won so many games, but y'all still haven't seen Larry Nance. I was the same way, but what do you know? There he is. There is the man himself. We're gonna take a look at his card. And we're going to play some games with him, test him out, and see if he's worth picking up in Triple Threat Online. So in my stream the other day, a lot of you guys were calling Larry Nance a Giannis clone, and I can kind of see it. 6 foot 10, 99 defense, and his offense doesn't look too bad either. Close shots a 90, driving dunks a 95, 3 point shots only a 74, and the mid range is a 84. Not terrible, but not amazing either. Ball handles a 70, but man. 95 block, 92 interior defense, the steal and the perimeter defense aren't too bad either. His rebounding, not too bad. And 84 speed is pretty good for a power forward, 89 lateral quickness, 95 vertical. Larry Nance is one of the best dunkers ever, so that makes sense. Pretty good rebounding. And 84 speed is pretty good for a power forward, 89 lateral quickness, and 95 vertical, which makes sense because he is one of the best dunkers of all time. His attributes, not bad, but his badges, Pretty impressive. Seven Hall of Fame badges, Fearless Finisher, Lob City Finisher, Rim Protector and Posterizer, two super important Hall of Fame badges. Gold Acrobat's pretty important. Pick Dodger, Gold Clamps. Gold Clamps, so he has Gold Clamps and Hall of Fame Rim Protector. Gold Heart Crusher's pretty OP. Post Move Lockdown, Quick First Step, Silver Intimidator. So the badges aren't looking amazing, but for a free Pink Diamond card, pretty good, but not as good as Wayne Embry. Looking like a pretty good free card, so let's stick him in the lineup and let's go in a shoot around real quick. Here's a quick look at his hot zones. No three point hot zones, but a lot of mid range hot zones. And for what it's worth, his shot is pretty smooth, pretty easy to time. He has an 84 mid range shot, 74 3. And the way his jump shot is, you don't release it at the top of his jump, you release it on the way down. Still pretty easy to time, and I guess if you give him a good shoe, if you have a good coach, you could move it back to three and maybe knock down some three-pointers with him. If you guys are wondering what difficulty this is on, we're shooting on Hall of Fame, so if you can time that three right, maybe give him a shoe. Maybe you can get pretty consistent at that shot and he can stretch the floor for you. Also keep in mind, he has gold quick first step and he has that Hall of Fame contact finisher, fearless finisher, so he's a great finisher around the rim. He only has a 70 ball handle, so he doesn't go super fast off the dribble, but he's gonna get contact dunks, he can knock down a mid-range shot. Solid player, especially for a free player. He's looking really good in shoot around, but to see how good he really is, we gotta use him in the game. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play three games total. One game of triple threat offline to get a feel for Larry Nance so we can learn how to use him. One game of Triple Threat Online to see how Larry Nance matches up versus real human competition. And last but not least, one game of My Team Unlimited to see how Larry Nance fits in with my team so I can find out whether or not he's worth using online. I've done enough talking, you guys get the picture. Let's get this gameplay started. Game number one, Triple Threat Offline, just to learn how to use him and see what he can do versus some CPU opponents. Let's get right to it. Next gen is so fast. I don't even have to edit. All right, Larry Nance, let's see what you got. First possession, 
Let's go off the dribble. Nice. Nice. He has quick first step. He has fearless finisher. He's got some pretty good finishing badges. I want to show off his defense, but that might be kind of hard versus the CPU. So you might see more defense in the later games. Let's give it back to him, and let's see if we can show off that gold quick first step. He only has a 70 ball handle, but look at that. He can get to the rim pretty easily, and he has pretty good speed and decent speed with ball. Still pretty good for a power forward. If he could play the center, I feel like he would be a lot better. But he was a small forward in real life, so it makes sense. If he could play the center, like Wayne Embry, I feel like he would be so much more of a cheat code, but he's still pretty fast, he's still a good finisher, but we gotta get some more dunks with him. Actually, let's run some pick and roll, because in an actual game, you probably want to run some pick and roll with Larry Nance. Roll to the rim, alley-oop, and he can do that every single time. Super athletic, pretty fun player around the rim. Let's see if we can block a shot right here with him, nice. And there we go, rebound, let's run the fast break. I know I'm doing a lot of dribbling with him, and in an actual game I'm probably not going to dribble as much, I'm just trying to show off what he can do. Nice contested finish. Let's see if I can knock down a jump shot with him, we're going to come around the screen. Oh yeah, okay, okay. That was a nice three ball, first three ball of the game. That jump shot is easy. No, he doesn't have a shoe on. And I can't remember who my coach is, I think it's Steve Kerr, so maybe that helps a little bit. Let's shoot it again. Another green! Another green for Larry Nance. I'm not sure how many threes I'm actually going to shoot, but it's good knowing that he can actually knock it down. We could win the game with a three, but I want to go off the dribble one more time. He has some nice handles. He has some nice handles, and of course he can get some contact dunk animations. And now we have one more possession to win the game, so let's go off the dribble one more time. Lane's wide open, and nobody is stopping that. 360 for the win. Solid first game for Larry Nance, 22 points, some nice dunks, some beautiful three-pointers. Let's move on to Triple Threat Online. Game number two, Triple Threat Online. Larry Nance looked really good versus those CPUs. He was throwing it down, knocking down threes, but can he do that versus a real human opponent? There's only one way to find out. Game number two, let's get right to it. So like I said earlier, in offline games, I'm probably going to use Nance a little bit more off the ball. Maybe as a spot-up shooter, a roll man to the rim, a finisher around the rim. And of course, he's pretty important defensively, so let's see how he guards Shaq. Great defense, forced the miss. That's that intimidator right there. And honestly, we could take Shaq off the dribble. Actually, I think Shaq might be sagging off. Shaq might not be guarding the three. Actually, he kind of is, so let's blow past him and let's get the jam. That gold quick first step is very important, man, especially versus centers. He's trying to score on me again, come on. Larry Nance is a lockdown defender, and he's a great three-point shooter. Knock it down! Bang! It wasn't a green, but we'll take it. He can knock down threes, but probably not super consistently. Like I said earlier, I do think the difficulty's up a little bit. I think this is on Superstar, and offline's on All-Star. Let's get a jam through the legs on the fast break. That is nice. Last game, I talked about the pick and roll. Let's actually run the pick and roll. If he goes up too high, I can lob it right up to Nance for the reverse. So Nance can go off the dribble, but he's not a dribble god. So you might want to use him more off the ball. Maybe sub him in, get a couple dunks with him, but definitely not as good as Wayne Embry. Wayne Embry can shoot the lights out, man. If you give him, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Very similar to Wayne Embry, but can't dribble as well and can't shoot as well either. Great defensively, can play the small forward, six foot 10, can blow by big men and get to the rim. Like Wayne Embry, but a little bit worse. Nice rebound, let's run the fast break. We have a little bit of a mismatch, so I'm gonna post spin right here. And if he's gonna double team, that's okay. We'll just take it ourselves anyway. Fast break time once again. If he sags off with Shaq, it's not gonna work because we're gonna shoot it and we're gonna knock it down from D. That's two threes now. Oh, he's shooting full court shots. He's giving up. Nah, come on, man. Just to see if we can get a better matchup. I might play one more game, but still, very promising first online game with the man, Larry Nance. 22 points, two three-pointers, a few poster dunks, really fun card to use, great defensively, it doesn't get much better than that. 
Let's play one more game online because even though his team wasn't terrible, I feel like it was still a mismatch. We easily had the better team. Let's play one more game and see if we can get a more even matchup. Okay, so maybe not a better matchup, but hey, we get to play another game. He's sitting in the paint. Why are you sagging off? You're giving me so much space to drive. Next time he sags off, I'm shooting that ball. Nice rebound, Nance. Let's run that fast break. Nobody's fast enough to stop him. Oh! Let's give it back to Nance. Lamarcus Aldridge can't stop him. He's sagging off the jump shot. Come on, y'all know that's automatic. Larry Nance, I'm not gonna lie. He's growing on me a little bit. He's growing on me. He's jumping. Oh! He knew I could shoot, so he had to jump. Oh! Let's give it back to him. We're on fire with him. I'm gonna shoot the three. Bang! Get out of here, man. A nice, quick second game. I think you guys can see what Larry Nance can do offensively. He can play some pretty good defense too. Can't complain about that. After this ball drop, let's play my team unlimited. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final game of the video. Game number three, my team unlimited. Let's see how Larry Nance fits in with the actual team. This game, we're gonna give Larry Nance the start at the power forward position. Blake Griffin coming off the bench, or I guess Patrick Ewing can come off the bench. Let's see how Larry Nance fits in with the starting lineup. I guess I'll sub in Chris Mullen and Eddie Jones too. Let's see how Nance fits in with the starting lineup. This should be a good game. He's surrounded by shooting. We have a very good team. Our record is 73 and nine. Let's see if we can get it done online. All right, unlimited time. His team's not looking that great. I mean, it's a good team, but not as good as ours. Larry Nance is being guarded by Anthony Davis. He's playing off ball defense. Let's blow past Anthony Davis and get to the rim. CPU Anthony Davis can't hang. That's Pink Diamond Anthony Davis too. We're not gonna go off the dribble every time, so let's run some pick and roll. Just some basic pick and roll. See if we can get something good. Easy roll to the rim, easy jam. The floor is so spaced out that we could get that every single time. Larry Nance has a quick four points already. Let's see if we can make that six. Let's run some pick and pop this time. He's gonna expect the roll. He's not expecting that wide open jump shot. Nice. Larry Nance, where are you? Let's run that fast break. Let's try to get a slam. Fast break machine. Great energy player. A lot of fun to use. Oh, wow. We got a mismatch. Got De'Aaron Fox guarding Larry Nance. Oh my gosh. As you guys can see, Larry Nance is a Skywalker. Larry Nance is gonna fill the lane. And let's run some pick and pop. Let's see if we can get another wide open jump shot. Yeah, he's not expecting this. That's an easy jump shot. That is an easy green, ladies and gentlemen. Let's post up a little bit. I haven't done that yet with him. Easy, easy, and one. Can he shoot free throws? The answer is yes. 17 point quarter for Larry Nance. We're on the fast break. As usual, Larry Nance is running. As usual, blow by. As usual, wide open three. Bang! He's hitting mid-range shots. He's hitting threes. He's getting to the rim. He's making layups. He's dunking. He's playing some good defense in the paint. He's doing it all right now, man. 22 point first quarter for Nance. He's only made one three. He is playing really well, man. He's off to a great start. Come on, Carlos Boozer's not staying in front of Larry Nance. Larry Nance! Let's go ahead and throw it down the court. Full court pass to Nance. Nobody's fast enough to stop him on this guy's team. There are definitely some guys out there fast enough to stop him, though. Giannis clone? I don't know about that. But the three-point shot is good enough. The mid-range shot is good enough. The slashing is great. I can see it. He also handles the ball pretty well. This Anthony Davis can't stay in front of him. We're getting to the rim! Fox hits the floor. Let's bring the ball up. Anthony Davis not fast enough. Can we get another poster? That was a nice animation, but I want to dunk on him, man. The jump shots, they're nice. The threes, they're cool. The open dunks and the layups, they're cool. But I want to dunk on this man. At halftime, we have a commanding lead, 40 to 20. Larry Nance is dominating the game. I feel like we're doing the same things over and over. We're dunking, we're blowing past the big men. We're knocking down a jump shot here and there. And that is pretty much what Larry Nance is. He's a pretty good player. He's had a pretty good game so far, but everything that he can do, you've pretty much already seen him do. 
He's a slasher who can green a jump shot here and there. He has pretty good dribble moves for a power forward, small forward. He has good length. He can play defense. He has gold clamps, Hall of Fame rim. Fun player, really fun player. Not an elite pink diamond, but still very fun, still very good. Great defense, great rebounding, good enough shooting. Honestly has everything you need. I know this is weird to say because he's such a good dunker, but he's not insanely flashy. Aside from his dunks and his dribble moves, I'd say he's not insanely flashy. Great defender, very athletic, fun player to use, great slasher, great rebounder. Good at a lot of things. Not great at shooting though, not great at ball handling like Wayne Embry. Good at a lot of things, but the specialties are the slashing for sure, the rim protection and the rebounding. He can shoot for sure, but I wouldn't advise shooting that much. He can go off the dribble, but I wouldn't advise like trying to beat guys off the dribble like Josh Smith, Giannis for two examples right there. Like I said, he does a lot of things well, a lot of things well. I know he's having a great game, but like versus guys who know what they're doing, versus guys who have better teams, he's probably not going to go as crazy as he is in this game. But man, he runs that fast break like a madman, he can rebound, he can defend, he can really do everything out there. So what rating do I give Larry Nance? Once this game's done, I'll talk about it. I'll go ahead and sim or edit to the end of this game. So we're going to close out this game. He's going to take the last shot. Very, very good game for Nance. Very impressive debut in Unlimited. But what are my final thoughts on Larry Nance? Well, first things first, amazing slasher. Great dunk animations. He can catch alley-oops. He can get to the rim by himself. Contact dunks, all that good stuff. Very great slasher. Number two, he's a great defender. He has gold clamps. He has good speed. He has good lateral quickness. He can guard perimeter players but he also has that Hall of Fame rim protector, gold post lockdown. He can guard post players and big men too. Those are the two things that he's elite at. The shooting is good, but not good enough, not reliable enough in my opinion for him to consistently shoot the three. His ball handling is good for a player of his size. If we're talking about small forwards, I don't think he's in the top five or top 10, but power forwards, he could be a sleeper to be in the top 10 power forwards in the game. Great defensively, great slasher, shooting, a bit subpar, ball handling, not too bad, but not amazing. Overall, really fun player. I can't say too many bad things about him. Really, really fun player. Not as good as Wayne Embry in Triple Threat Offline. Not as good as Giannis, KD, LeBron, those guys, but still very fun. We're going to end the video right there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank all you guys for watching. I appreciate everybody who made it to the end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video like this or a live stream. That was a lot of fun, man. I'm not going to lie. Let me get my starting five back in order. And yeah, until next time, you guys stay chill, stay safe. And I'll be seeing y'all again real soon.